stage combat. It's basically fake fighting. The way that we do it is making fight and conflict and look real, an essence of nobody's actually getting slapped on stage eight nights a week, right? That's not realistic for people who are performing all the time for their jobs. But it also looks real for the audience and they think that you're getting slapped eight times a week. Stage combat club and stage combat class are two ways that students learn at MSU Denver how to do stage combat. And you can get certified in as a stage combatant and then that makes you more hireable, that makes you more marketable, that makes you more recruitable. We are the only school in Colorado that has a full-time faculty that's a certified stage combat teacher. Stage combat's just another, it's another craft and another art form to tell a story. It's resolving two things between two people, two characters. We make eye contact, Paul aims for my hand. Historically, when, when we first started putting sword fights and like um, martial arts into films, there, there were no fake fighters, there were only real fighters. So Hollywood would be hiring real swordsmen, real fencers, real martial artists to do a good chunk of this. And so I think that's what most people think it is now, is when they're watching film, they're like, oh yeah, they hired a martial artist to do that. And it's like, yeah, they might have a martial arts background, but no, 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 no. That's an, it's now a whole nother art form. There are protocols and there are safety techniques that we have created in the stage combat world that where we can stage really violent things in an extremely safe way. Fake fighting. You're not actually chopping someone's head off in the movies, right? We're not killing people to make art. If you ever want to learn like how to fight with a lightsaber, how to fight with a sword or different things like that, you basically learn stage combat. A straight is a punch that comes from my back. It, it is a process. So right now, you know, um, my students are studying here for four years to be professional actors. That's how long I studied to be a professional stage combat director, choreographer, teacher. First thing we usually go over is what we call unarmed combat, which is hand-to-hand -hand combat. And it's all about reading your partner's body language and responding. And in combat, that's essential. Broadswords are big, heavy weapons um, that require a lot of muscle, and they're also batter weapons, right? They don't take a lot of finesse the way a small sword or a rapier would. It's about pummeling your, your enemy is kind of what it is. So all of the weapons are handmade by people who are trained in making weapons. Stage combat weapons, the blade is dull so they won't actually cut you and the tip is more rounded so it doesn't actually pierce. So when you are learning how to use a sword, you don't accidentally cut or stab someone. Like the first time you put a sword in someone's hand and they're like, ah, like they're so scared to try anything. And then yeah, by the last class, they're going after each other like it's nothing. So I'd say confidence is the biggest one. My students give back to me what I give to them. And it's totally a partnership. That is my whole life. My whole life is my students and uh, I don't mind. <laughs>